so yeah, let's start off with it, it was kind of the news late last night, but now it's uh, officially getting passed through. Um, talk to me about the this four point eight billion dollar spending plan for infrastructure. You know, it's been a while before something came together and a deal was made, but um, are we happy with the direction this is headed? Absolutely. So I think this supplemental budget deal is a $4.8 billion investment in the people of Michigan. And the governor and I are proud that this has come to the legislature on a bipartisan basis. And there's some really transformative stuff in here. Listen, 2022 was already the, the year we invested more in fixing roads and bridges than we ever have in the history of the state of Michigan. And this supplemental budget puts an additional $316 million towards our roads and bridges. We are going to fix them to make them safe um, so that people can drive with peace of mind here all across the state of Michigan. It also um, includes uh, huge investments for our water infrastructure, replacing lead service lines, um, fixing dams, uh, and just giving access to drink clean drinking water to communities across uh, the state of Michigan. It also has $250 million to connect more Michigan households to high speed, high quality internet access, and making that a reality um, for people in Michigan, putting this kind of path to being the first state to connect every household to the internet. Um, we're really proud of, of that. And there's a lot more good stuff in here. So this is really a big step forward um, for the state of Michigan, for our infrastructure, for our people, and for our communities. And, and obviously this is all, you know, related, it's COVID relief money. It's all kind of related on getting, you know, the state back on track and as well as this uh, grant program for some of the small businesses who may have struggled during that time. So tell me a little bit about that grant program. And there is still some money available, correct? That's right. This is called the Growing My Business Grant Program. It's going to it's a four hundred nine million dollar small business support program. That's on top of the two hundred fifty plus million that we have already uh, delivered to small businesses across the state of Michigan. And these are that those that, that program already has you know supported more than two hundred thousand uh, jobs across the state and helped twenty five thousand uh, businesses. And this is just taking it. A step further into helping more of those businesses that really, you know, define the characters of our neighborhoods or the anchors um, of our communities. And we want those businesses, the people who work at them, the small business owners, to know the state of Michigan has their back. And that is why we're asking every single small business owner to apply for this program. Um, they can go to michigan.gov slash ABR, michigan.gov slash ABR stands for Apply for Business Relief, and do so before 11.59 p.m. on March 31st. You got to go apply right now um, so you can get this relief and uh, help keep your business going. And, and what will this help, you know, some of these small businesses with? I mean, what exactly, you know, how much can they get out of it? What can they use it for? Is there, you know, parameters for that? Yeah, so this is for, um, this is going to help businesses do uh, everything that they need to do, Listen, whether it's paying your rent or utilities, some folks might owe some back rent or utilities because of expenses that may have been accrued during the pandemic, but also to invest in the growth of your business, invest in the retention of your employees, invest in your marketing to attract new customers, invest in upgrading your facilities or facades to make sure that your businesses can can you know take that next step and get to the next level. This is for those ones that have been you know the backbones of the community even through the pandemic. Those restaurants and entertainment venues, people providing. Um, personal professional services, um, the small businesses, again, that drive our economy and that will create and retain jobs going forward. So again, go to michigan.gov slash ABR to apply for business relief. And then, uh, you know, going off that and talking about some of the COVID relief money that's now being allocated, you know, how important is that for, you know, the, the tra trajectory of Michigan through this next year as we, you know, are seeing cases of COVID come down, we're starting to get a more normalized sense of things um, and getting back to that normal for sure. Um, you know, how important are these kind of things working together to, to keep Michigan back on track? These investments matter not only in the present tense right now and for this year, but these are generational investments that we're going to be able to make in our communities. The governor and I have been putting forward plans and proposals about how to do just that. You know, whether it's the you know hundred million dollar investment in affordable housing that is part of this um, this package, and we're proud of that because those that affordable housing when it's built in the next year will serve our communities for decades to come and provide. Um, place for people to live, to be, uh, to put down their roots in the community so they can work and grow their families and grow their businesses and send their kids to school. Um, so we believe that this short term, our one time investment that we can make now will lay a foundation for a really strong future across Michigan. 
All right, Lieutenant Governor, that's all I had. I appreciate the time. Great. Thank you, Aaron. Take care. Thanks. Take care.